the grand total for both locations was about What's up everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are having a great day and happy new years to everyone. I know I'm kind of late, but still. But for today's video, we're actually going to four vending machines on location that I haven't been to in about a month. So we're gonna go down there, fill up the machines, collect the cash and see how much money they made. It should be a pretty exciting day since we also have a new location that we're dropping off machines later on and we're doing a giveaway at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch until the end. Also, not sure if y'all can tell, we did just get our weekly product delivery. So we have everything stocked up. We have chips, candy, pastries, ready to go. So with that being said, let's head over to the first location and let's fill it up. Happy New Year's. Uh, we want to leave you guys some cookies for New Year's, if that's okay. Oh, thank you. Of course. Awesome. Hopefully y'all enjoy them. Thank you. All right, everyone, we're at the first location. Again, we haven't been here in the butt, wait. Oh, what? They put up a sign. Please put jerky or else. No way. Bruh. What were they going to do if we didn't? Probably cut the cord. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the light bulb is not working, so it looks sad. We got to replace this machine. You just got to move it around. Oh, I see it. I see it. I don't know what they put inside of these honey buns. I love it myself, but there, there's something in these that the <laughs> government is not telling us. There is not a single location that doesn't sell out. I'm actually surprised the drink machine is more full than the snack machine, but it is winter, it's cold outside, so that's maybe why. But I feel like it still did pretty good after a whole month. I'm wearing Dr. Pepper at the wrong location. We have three rolls, not one sold. I think I should just take it off. Uh, no, 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 you're gonna leave it on. Like I, I, can't, I can't wear it here. You're they don't it buy it. Doc you're gonna leave it on. Both machines are filled up, they're looking good. Now for the best part, time to collect the money. I got my little grandma fanny pack, so let's do the snack first. You guys saw how low the snack machine was, so I am expecting a little bit more for the snack than the drink. And also, don't forget, I will show you guys the credit card sales at the end of the video. Man, this is heavy. Here we go, first machine of today. Ooh, look at that. That's actually crazy it did this much in cash because normally credit card sales are way much higher. So I'm curious to see how much it did all together. Get in there. So they can see your breath? <laughs> you got games? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, we have the drink machine. And look at that. As expected, less than the snack machine, but not bad. We've learned at this point to not even check the coins because there's always the, like $3 in there. Bruh. We check it like once every six months. I'm not sure if we've shown this before, but we do take a picture of every single tray. That way we can actually put it into the inventory on the computer. And next time we actually know what to bring back. Right now I am at the next location. We have two vending machines, a soda and a snack. But quick fun fact before we go inside, I actually have no idea what half the locations I have actually do. We always just drop off the machines, fill them up, come back every couple weeks and that's pretty much it. For example, this place, it's a big warehouse with 100 employees, multiple buildings, but I have no idea what they actually make or what they work on. I don't know, kind of random, but let's go inside and let's fill up the two machines. We made it inside and if you guys look at the snack and drink machine, you might think that we already filled them up because they look so full. If you guys look closely, the snack machine has like two selections empty and the drink, I think only one. So it looks like they pretty much didn't buy anything. It's actually still been 30 days since we've been here, but the reason why they're so full is because they were closed half the time in December for the holidays. But we still wanted to pass by and make sure nothing is expired since it's been over a month and we might as well top off the machines now that we're here. Of course, nothing new. There's always a drink at the bottom of the machine. 
the rule is if there's a drink at the bottom that means somebody lost their money but every single time this happens I do like to throw in a couple dollars in the change machine so the next person that comes and uses it they actually get their money back Now it's time to see exactly how much cash the snack machine made. There it is, look at that. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. You guys know it's good luck if the first bill is a five. Oh my god, wait, this is heavy. Really? Yeah, I can't tell, but this bucket of coins is heavy. And I know this is supposed to be a one month collection, but I don't think we've ever collected the coins from this machine since we placed it. I'm telling you guys, we only check the coins like once every six months. And last but not least, we have the drink machine. Let's check it out. A lot less than a snack. <laughs> what? A 10? It says it takes ones, fives, tens, and twenties. But did somebody really get like nine dollars and quarters? It took oh it. Oh my god. All right, everyone, so we're at Sam's Club right now. And if you guys have seen my recent videos, you guys know we don't come to Sam's no more. We mainly buy from like Pepsi, Coke, and Frito-Lay. But there's still a lot of things that is a lot cheaper going through Sam's Club than a distributor. So we're gonna be picking up a few items like snacks and drinks. The biggest issue we have right now is having to raise prices everywhere because as y'all can see, all the chocolate and candy is about 90 cents. We actually just raised all the chocolate to $1.50 in our machines, but I feel like they should be minimum $2. So comment down below if you would pay $2 for a chocolate bar. No, have you seen how small they are? They're like... Bruh. But inflation. <laughs> inflation. Matter. Damn, why so many? My girlfriend goes through so much gum because she doesn't like to brush her teeth. So Bruh. this is what I have to buy her like <laughs> once a week. I'd be getting this one. The long-lasting flavor? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, so this is all the stuff that we're buying for today. It doesn't look like a lot of stuff, so I was thinking it was gonna be a couple hundred dollars, but I just scanned everything and it came out to $687. The best part is that since I do have a sales tax permit, I don't have to pay taxes on all this product, so it does help out a little bit, but that just shows that it would have been a lot more. Aww. Must be nice, goals. Here. Let me see your phone. Pull it Why out. you gotta put me on the spot like that? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Hold up. What are you oh, doing? Hold up. What? When I'm with her, I have this one. When I go out with the boys, I have this one. And for business meetings, it's this one. Just paid. Now let's get out of here. All right, you guys, so we made it back to the warehouse. And I know earlier in the video, I was talking about how we got all the product delivered. So everything looks pretty full and stocked up. The only thing we were missing were the drinks and we just got some of those right now. So we have some fruit punch and lemonade, which we sell a lot. The only thing I'm missing is some of the flavored soda, like the crushed grape, the strawberry, and like the Coke and Dr. Pepper. Anyways, here is all the cash we collected from both locations. We have the first one and the second one. And we actually found this old Three Musketeers in one of our machines. I dare you to eat it. You guys saw how- What? No. For $20. It's probably like 50 years old. I couldn't even find the date on this. For $20? You no, won't do it for $20? Not worth it. All 
All right, you guys, so I went ahead and count all the money already. I did also include the credit card sales. So for the first location, we have a total of $538 with 25 cents for the entire month. The second location in the other hand was a lot slower. The grand total was $376 with 75 cents. The grand total for both locations was about $900 and I know some of you guys wonder how much my machines make after a whole month so hopefully this gives you a better idea. Before I take this to the bank I do want to point out that of course all of this is not profits. You really have to remember that we have to buy more products for the machines, we have to spend money on gas, we have to pay the monthly truck payment, the warehouse rent. With all the expenses we have and inflation going up, prices going up is again the reason we wanted to raise prices on a lot of these items. These pastries three months ago were about 70 cents. We sold them for 125, 150. Now they're a dollar and 10 cents. We're having to sell them for almost two dollars. Do I sound like I'm complaining? Um, a little bit, but I would be too. I don't want to make it sound like I'm complaining. It's just I'm giving you guys an inside scoop of the business and kind of what we're dealing with. Before we go ahead and end the video, I know I mentioned a giveaway, so let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. You guys know this, but I do sell a lot of snacks and drinks from other countries like Mexico, Canada, and Japan. We have an entire room of just snacks. The drink room is actually over there. But look at this. Open it up real quick. I gotta show them. These are giant sour Skittles from the United Kingdom. Look how big those are. Here's a shower. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, we do want to give away a giant box of exotic snacks. All you have to do is go down below and leave a comment on this video. But check this out, we have cereal from Mexico, we have chips from China, Chips Ahoy cranberry flavor. It's gonna be about $200 worth of snacks and drinks. So if you want a chance to win, we're only giving away one box. Go down below, leave a comment. That's gonna be all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Pepsi wallpaper, Dr. Pepper shirt, Eminem jacket, Sprite socks. <laughs> it's starting to be cringy at this point. <laughs>